want to show you something really quick that you never ever ever want to do when installing an electrical service we got your run-of-the-mill common overhead 150 amp service here on this residential that I'm about to swap out and I saw this ground layer running up from the ground rod to the meter socket that's a big big no-no there's only one situation where you would ground your meter socket and that's if your disconnect is outside and you have four wire ser not seu going to your box inside then everything outside is grounded your meter socket and your disconnect your main disconnect and and your box inside is not grounded to the rods directly it's it's all grounded to here from your four wire so i've actually when i first started i got failed for doing this because i'm like oh there's a there's a a lug for a ground in, in my meter socket i might as well ground it it'll make it safer no it doesn't it creates multiple paths for your neutral to flow through ground and keep and create a lot of problems potentially and you can have uh you could start you know if your neutral goes bad you can start arcing through your ground and then if that goes bad you can start arcing through the siding all sorts of crap and um stuff can get dangerous doing it that way so i can tell this was never inspected when they put it in i mean other than that they did a pretty neat job but yeah definitely the the type of service this is we do not want to ground to the meter socket if you're if you don't have a breaker in your meter socket or a disconnect, you do not want to ground it or else it will fail in my jurisdiction anyway. And do yourself and everybody else a big favor too. When you're, when you're installing your new meter socket, grease up the tabs on the meter before you stick it back in. That way somebody in the future doesn't have to fight with it and, and almost rip it apart to get it out. That, that has happened to me so many times where I've literally had to rip these out of here because this thing got seized in there so bad. I bet I got to bump this one pretty good and it'll help, you know, with continuity in the future and, and potential heat or high resistance or a higher electric bill. You know, you just want to grease and no locks as much as possible, whatever you can. The next time you stay frosty, be impeccable with your word. Don't take anything personally. Do your best and be good to people.